All right. Um, now on to uh, the next segment, which is actually some um, got some uh, service account managers, um, Patrick and Brent, and they're going to talk about some of the successes with some of the customers they have and why this is important, I think, for you as users is sometimes you can see in other people's uh, stories, the outcomes that they're getting out of EXO uh, and enjoying it or, or having um, tremendous success uh, that you could recognize something that you didn't know it had or could you didn't uh, didn't realize that you could get the same benefit. So over to, first of all, we're going to go to Patrick uh, and uh, you've got some customer stories for us, Patrick. That is true. And uh, thanks for that warm intro, Grant. Um, safe to say, we it was a privilege working with a lot of these clients on putting these uh, stories together, one of which I think will be near and dear to you in terms of how that project came to life. So, um, you know, kicking off with the first story, I mean, the, that theme deals with um, growth or more accurately, growing pains. And um, here's the thing. I mean, we get in our cars, we go from A to B, and we generally don't stop to think about what's happening underneath the hood. That is until, of course, we break down, right? And it's usually at this point, you know, when we're sitting in front of the mechanic that it hits us that there's so many different specializations in the automotive field. One of them is um, engine remanufacturing. And it's an area that a gentleman by the name of uh, Colin and his team at Ogre Engines have specialized in for, say, the better part of 30 years. And they've, they've done pretty well for themselves. I mean, in fact, with the likes of Ford Australia on their books, all they really wanted was um, a reliable business system to help them grow. Unfortunately, that's not what they were getting. All right, uh, what they wanted uh, was Exo delivered to them in the cloud at speed. Uh, what they got though was a slow performing system that held them back. I mean, Colin couldn't even run, you know, job reports. So enter Exo Hosted. Now, many people don't know this, but Exo Hosted is the only custom designed cloud solution for MYRB Exo in uh, the market today. And because of this, you know, our team were able to uh, recreate the issue that Colin was going through, pinpoint the cause, and better yet, create a test account, which he could then dive in and see for himself in terms of the speed differences. So essentially life on EXO hosted versus life outside of EXO hosted. Suffice to say, uh, you know, he'd seen enough. He made the decision that day to join the, the 500 daily users and growing of the platform. And look, now he's free to grow his business. In fact, as we speak, um, he's in the middle of a rebrand and they've moved into a bigger, um, uh, you know, specific, uh, per, you know, um, premises, if you will, it will in Melbourne. So uh, in the end, what we offered him was a cloud engine to help grow his business. Um, so he was better placed to offer people like you and myself, you know, a decent engine to run our cars. Right now, uh, we're just going to switch gears a little to uh, the second story because that deals with a different theme and that theme is about, you know, just like looking ahead or looking what's around the corner. Now, look, if you've ever had an electrician or maybe a plumber, you know, come out to do work for you and you've wondered to yourself, you know, how is it that they're able to fit all those tools and better yet the right tools into their own van? Well, it's because of companies like Auto Transform, as you can see on your screen. Now they modify vans and utes for professional use. And if you can just take a second guys and maybe just imagine the process that involves bringing a lot of different parts all together to create a single finished component that then makes its way into said van or ute. Now imagine repeating this process over and over again, you know, for each new job, for each new variation, and then recording all your efforts on bits of paper try collecting all these bits of paper and hoping it doesn't get lost somewhere between the factory floor and the upstairs office where a poor admin person has to you know, go through them, guesstimate how much profit the business made and hopefully how much you get paid for your time on that job. See, this is what that family run business was going through. It was time consuming and there's just there's zero visibility in what they were doing. I mean, they couldn't get an immediate view of the production line right in front of them, which made it even more difficult to get a future view of uh, finished vans ahead. So that's kind of why they turned to more MX, all right? A, a manufacturing package that plugs into EXO. And amongst other things, it, it helps with production planning. And once they switch this on, you know, jobs are being tracked 
now by digital work orders, which also included a recipe for all the relevant parts as well. And you know, with the introduction of barcode scanning, man, these guys are cooking with gas now because factory floor data could be collected in real time. All right, no need to dash upstairs anymore. So now look, the business can see their job progress in real time. The business can see their costs in real time. And look, best of all, they can look ahead and predict when the customers are gonna get their vans finished in real time. So on that note, I wanna do two quick things. First, um, thank you for allowing me to share these two stories, uh, but also hand you over to my dear friend and colleague who operates out of our Sydney office to round out the remaining stories in this session. So Brent, that travel bubble, mate, once it does happen, who's buying the beers, you or me? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, Patrick. I, yeah, like uh, I think we're going to have to toss a coin for that one if you get the first round. <laughs> Good stuff. Over to you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the two companies that uh, I would like this, uh, this the story successes. First one is a, a company called uh, Unimig. Uh, Unimig, they have been in business for over 30 years as one of the leading suppliers of high quality wealth accessories and they've had a, 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 a problem in, in terms of having to deal with a large number of orders that are coming through on a day-to-day -day basis for their business so having them to trying to deal with this number of that with the number of staff that you have in order to try and process these orders coming in so you can imagine individually bringing in these orders having to look them up in from the stock perspective seeing the availability as they had multiple locations it really came to be a bit of a, a daunting process of trying to bring in those orders, assess those orders, which location you'd be sent out, and then communicate back to the customer to say where they were coming out and the timing of those deliveries. Some of those orders were very time dependent, and so they needed to make sure they can get back to the client as soon as possible in order to get to at least confirm those sales and get confirmed that it would be going through at a specific time and point they required from those customers. So what happened was is that we had to look at ways of automating some of those processes for them. That way it took out the manual elements of their processes. So instead of having to individually manually update orders into the system, it's now automating that process where they can have those orders reallocated themselves to a particular location. So for example, if they would look at an order coming to Sydney, they would look in there and say, well, has that Sydney location got the stock available? If it was not, therefore, would look at an alternative location, let's say Brisbane, the Brisbane location, for example, and say, yes, we do have that. And then that, therefore, allocate, reallocate that sales order to the Brisbane location. So they would then be able to distribute that product to the client as soon as possible. That also helped them uh, send the information across and automate the email process to that. So with regards to that, it really had a significant impact on health and administration in terms of processing those sales order. That flow of information moved a lot smoother. And also the fulfillment process really helped in terms of allocating that stock to the right locations, allowing the warehouse team to get that supply chain management process going a lot smoother. It really helped also improve that communication with the customers. So there was a large trust factor that was coming through because they can communicate a lot better with their customers and give them a, excuse me, a reliable outcome to those results. And then for the next one, we talk about is a company called All Storage Systems. So All Storage Systems, they're a Melbourne family-owned business who have been running for a number of years now and have been operating under uh, where they supply uh, fit-outs, uh, office equipment, uh, and also storage facilities, storage systems and solutions for the warehouse. So what was happening to them, they were having two separate systems. So they would have HubSpot, which was managing the CRM of their business, and they will have an XO themselves. So the staff were, the difference between the staff, the sales staff team and the administration staff was a big disconnect in terms of their communications. There's also a lot of double entry. So staff who were using the HubSpot connection were entering opportunities inside HubSpot. But then and once those orders were had to be confirmed, then somebody had to manually go into XO themselves and then create a, another entry into that system for that same order. So there really was a, a big disconnect between the two teams. Also in terms of visibility from a management perspective to see sales staff performance 
and opportunities that were coming along the pipeline and how to manage those and see where they were effectively being pushed across and how they can be managed and improve on sales. So what happened is they came to us and we implemented a system called Syncit. Syncit integrated the two systems together. So what they was able to do, we were able to bring in data information, contacts, company information, stock items, sales orders. What this did was it helped establish a clean flow of information between the two teams. This is where they were able to communicate with each other quite effectively and get the information across. So just on a quick side note, I'll mention that Syncit uh, was developed by Kilimanjaro, who were able to use us as a seamless connector to integrate different solutions with EXO themselves. So this has really helped in a number of different areas such as Salesforce, Shopify, and Magento, and a number of other solutions when trying to create that seamless integration between the two. But as I mentioned, this really did reduce a significant number of manual data entry and elimination of human errors, help the sales staff connect, communicate with the administration team in a much smoother process, improve their pipeline management, great, gave greater visibility for live reporting and sales and increase on marketing. I'm going to end it off there. So uh, thank you once again for your time and off to you, Grant.